Another uh, tool, and this says web server attack tool, but Metasploit is the all around hacking suite of tools. It exploits everything. Uh, if you can think of something that could be hacked on a computer system, uh, Metasploit is useful for that. So uh, this is, uh, I could teach a two week long class for 10 hours a day on Metasploit uh, with, with labs. It's just a huge environment. And so you can do web servers and other vulnerabilities. Um, it's, it's, it's an amazingly large tool. There are a lot of other tools that you can use. Uh, we saw TT Hydra on there, Canvas, Hulk, MPAC, Wolf, uh, WAF, W3AF. Um, so many different attack tools. Remember though, Metasploit is huge and extremely powerful. All right, let's look at some web server attack countermeasures. What? You say you don't want your web server attacked. Well, let's see what we can do to stop it from happening. Well, a few things to think about. And as we talk about web servers and applications and uh, SQL servers and uh, SQL implementations, realize that a lot of these countermeasures are not things that, let's say I'm a, I'm a user and I go to uh, somewebsite.com and like, oh man, I don't want this website to be vulnerable. What can I do to make this website less vulnerable? The, the answer is nothing. Really, it's not me as a user that's responsible for that. I need to actually uh, have the developer, uh, the administrators and engineers fix websites, web apps, and SQL servers, right? So I just wanna warn you that some of the things that are gonna be in these countermeasure lists are not things that you or I can easily adjust. These are things that as a network defender, when you are in a meeting with your developer for your website and your web app, uh, you'll ask these questions. Well, hey, I sent an email uh, to you, Mr. Uh, web Developer, and I just need to make sure I wanna check a few things. Uh, have we applied restricted ACLs and blocked remote registry administration? They're like, oh yeah, I have a tool that, for that. It's great, no, no problem with that. And you say, well, are, have we secured the SAM uh, or is it a standalone server? And your web guy will say, oh no, actually we don't have to worry about it. It's, it's not standalone and uh, I'm not using the SAM. Okay, good. Well, uh, have you removed all necessary file shares and, and any default uh, accounts permissions? Like, oh yeah, I always do that. That's a standard for us. What about your NTFS permissions? Oh no, yeah, what we do is we lock down every folder. So uh, this is something that the web team is gonna have to work on in terms of permissions and partitions. ISAPI filters, the ISAPI is the application programming interface for Microsoft web servers. And there are these filters included uh, that are part of the web server when you install it. They're default stuff. But, and a lot of them get used by developers, but some of them don't. And, if they're not, if they're unnecessary, you need to remove them, right? So removing any script mappings. Uh, if I'm a, uh, somebody who visits a website, I, don't, I have no uh, method for re removing IS script mappings. This is something that the web team needs to know about. So if you're on that security team and you need to verify that your web server is as secure as it can be ma made, there are some tools, there's an app for that with Fortify Web Inspect to automatically, dynamically test your web servers, Acunetix Web Vulnerability Scanner, Retina Host Security Scanner, NetIQ, Saint, Sophos. There are a lot of tools out there that you can use to help you prove that your web server is as secure as possible.